everyone, Claire here, and today I'm showing you my page in a tunnel book swap that I'm in. That first page, the front cover and the first page, was done by somebody else, and I am doing the second page. So I'm starting off with some texturizing medium from Deco Art, and it's basically sand in a medium, so it sticks, and I'm putting that down straight from the bottle and smoothing it out to where I want it to be and what I want it to look like with a palette knife. So now that's all smoothed out, I'm marking some sand dunes in, um, as you can see there. And I'm going to thoroughly dry that with a heat tool, which I'm going to fast forward through because you don't want to see five minutes of me drying basically sand. So next I'm going to do some painting and I'm taking the Marigold Americana paint and that's done by Deco Art. Putting a little squidge on my mat and I don't put enough on there the first time and painting in the sand. So I'm going to add some more on and a little bit less water and make it a little bit thicker. And again, I'm going to heat dry this with a heat tool very carefully so I don't actually affect any parts of the book that somebody else has done and I'm going to fast forward through the drying process. So to add a bit of definition into the sand dunes I'm going to use the honey brown in the Americana again deco art and I'm just going to basically dry brush it on. Um, I did use the same brush but I've dried it off with a paper towel first and I'm just going to add in a bit of highlight and texture so the sand dunes actually pop out. I didn't like the way that it looked, all just flat one colour. And don't forget when you are putting your highlights in to go around the edges and the top edges of the dunes as well. Add a bit of definition, a bit of shading. And I'm quite happy with how the sand actually came out. In, up close in person it looks really quite cool. So next I'm going to use the Spa Blue and the Indian Turquoise, again in the Deco Art colours. I really like that Indian Turquoise, it's beautiful and dark. And I'm going to do the sky. The way that I've already designed it, I don't need to put a sun in the sky because it's already implied that it's a bright day. So I've added uh, quite a lot of water to the Spa Blue to make a wash and I'm putting that first. And then I'm going to blend in a bit of the Indian turquoise as well. Again, I'm going to fast forward through the drying process because nobody wants to see paint drain. So I've taken a picture of a deck chair and again I've cut that out because I've just basically fussy cut it out just like that. You don't need to see me cutting that out. I'm not very good at fussy cutting out, so it takes me quite a while. So I'm arranging where I want it to go, roughly, and I need to check what's going on in the front as well to make sure that it all lines up. And I also need to be aware of what's going on behind it as well because I don't know what the next person is going to do. I don't think I said, but the theme of this book is uh, Terry Pratchett. So I've printed out... A vintage newspaper and I printed it out so it's double sided and now I'm just gonna roughly cut that out and if you like Terry Pratchett 
you might be seeing where I'm going with this page. So I'm going to be folding this piece of paper up into a paper hat. So that's why I needed it to be double sided because you will be able to see both sides. So the first thing you do is you fold it in half and then you fold it in half again. You do need it to be longer one edge than the other and then I'm finding the middle point and folding in two sides and then lift the bottom up and lift the other bottom up and open it up and you've got a cute little paper hat. So the next step is I need to bring my book back in, sorry it went a bit blurry there and I need to work out where I'm actually going to stick down the paper hat. And give it a second, there we go. So I'm working out my placement, I did have a rough idea of where I wanted everything to go but that always changes when you actually come down to doing it and I just wanted the hat to be peeking out of the other side behind the girl's head and I'm gonna glue that down with some scotch quick dry adhesive which is my go-to adhesive because it, it sticks really quickly it is really quick drying and it's really easy to use but there isn't any water in the product so it doesn't bubble your paper and it doesn't wrinkle your paper when it's dry. It's really good. I really like the Scotch Quick Dry. That's a bit of a rabbit trail as Didi would say. And you do have a couple of seconds to fiddle about and manoeuvre it when you're sticking it onto something that's like paint and gesso because it takes a few more seconds to grab. If you didn't know where I was going before, you should definitely go now because I am about to draw a little book. And I'm just hand drawing it. I thought, you know, it's only a square with a bit of diagonal lines and it's a book. You know, it's really easy to draw. So, And then I'm going to write on the front of it the title of the book, which is called... what I did on my holiday. Do you guess what book I'm doing yet? After I fussy cut out the little book that I'd drawn I decided that it needs a, a bit of depth and shading so I decided to colour it in with some uh, Faber-Castell pit pens and I've used the uh, dark sepia and the sanguine And there you can see that up close. It only needs a little bit around the edges. So I decided to stick that down to the deck chair because that's where you would put a book when you're at the beach, I suppose. I don't know, most people have got Kindles these days. I know I just take my Kindle everywhere. And then I'm taking a poster paint marker. And this particular one is a Sharpie poster paint marker. And I'm writing out my quote.
and the quote I've decided to use is one of my favourites and if you guessed it the book is Interesting Times and the quote is Probably the last sound heard before the universe folded up into a paper hat was somebody saying... Can you say it with me? What happens if I do this? So I hope you've enjoyed my video today and I will be recording the pages that I do in the Circle Journal tunnel book that I'm actually on so you'll get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.